Anthony Fantano's a dumbass and he's going to lose this lawsuit. Here's why. To give a very brief introduction, what happened was essentially is um, Anthony Fantano is being sued because he tried to sue Activision over using a TikTok audio clip. Yes, I'm serious. Ooh, a fresh pie. Save me a slice. That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's... All right, that's good. Okay, okay. All right, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's... It's enough slices! Get it. No, what was happening is thousands and thousands of people were beginning to use the audio of the video. There are over 20,000 videos on this platform using this audio in some way, shape, or form. And for a bit of a gag here, I thought it would be funny to go through some of those videos and uh, just react to them or point them out. Now, there are two arguments being thrown out by the Fantano fanboys. The first one is a false endorsement argument, and the second one is a copyright argument. I'm going to be addressing both of them, and I'm going to be explaining why they both are terrible arguments. So the main argument that the legal team is using is false endorsement, right? Activision is using Fantano falsely to endorse their product. This argument makes no sense. The main thing is the context of the audio and the context of TikTok. When you listen to the audio, you can clearly tell that it's taken out of context because he's talking about slices and the advertisement doesn't show anything relating to slices. It doesn't make any sense to say that because uh, Fantano's voice is in the clip, and only because Fantano's voice is in the clip, that that's why he is being used falsely to endorse the product. I think this is just a very clear, silly argument that they're making to try to, like, almost have a case. Because the other argument, which is copyright, is really, really bad and definitely isn't going to work. So another thing that people have been saying is that this is a copyright issue. Because if Fantano loses this copyright issue, then what's going to happen is that everyone's going to be able to use TikTok sounds in their advertisements, and no one's going to get paid, and they're just going to be able to use it however they want, right? Which is wrong. It's very wrong, right? So here's the thing, right? What's happening with Fantano is he is making a video sound thing, and people are taking the sound and using it in their own media. That is fair use. Simple as that, right? And before you ask, music is not the same thing. Don't be smart about it. Um, but that's besides the point, right? But let's talk about what happens if... What, let's, let's play ball, right? That this is a copyright issue. What happens if Fantano wins, right? What happens if Fantano wins is that memes essentially become illegal, right? Which is kind of a whole like thing in and of itself. People are like, oh no, memes are going to be illegal. But this time, memes would actually be pretty much illegal if this happened, right? Because what would happen is, is people would say, okay, right, you have this audio, right? This is my audio. You got to pay me, right? It would just completely destroy creativity. And honestly, I would prefer that more creative work could be made and no one got paid for it than the other situation where everyone's getting paid, but nothing creative's happening. You have to do your own shit. You can't use anyone else's work, even if using someone else's work would be more creative than doing something yourself right? I don't know. That's the main thing. One of the worst arguments, though, is definitely, oh, it's a it's a big old company that does bad things. So that means that Fantana was correct in doing what he did. Credit got a Connecticut who's getting sued by a billion dollar company. Fantana was very happy to receive the benefit of the public use of the Slices video. It was only after he identified a financial opportunity. Well, there should be a back chaser. That's not a bad thing. Now, money at the wazoo. We're not talking about a small business that's worth a million or two. That would have changed my perspective on us. And even if they are technically in the right, I would still hate for Fantano to not get money out of this because of how much money they have. They got money, bruh. Right, which is just wrong, obviously. I mean, there's nothing much to say about it. Fantano shouldn't have sued the company, even if they were like a terrible company, right? And that doesn't change the legal facts, which is that what happened was okay. Not only do I think that uh, Activision is morally okay for using Anthony's voice in the way that they did, because they used it in like a meme, I think it was actually morally good that they decided to sue Anthony over this. 
Because I think Anthony's definitely abusing his powers here. And again, that's why I sincerely hope that he loses this lawsuit. That's it. What do you guys think?